Data connectors enhance a user's ability to import and connect to various data sources. They are accessible in Origin 2019b from the new Data menu under Connect to File or Connect to Web. In addition, you can access them from the Apps sidebar. In this video, I will demonstrate connecting to data on the web as well as using the CSV data connector from both a file on the web and a local file. First, I will show you an example of importing a table from a web page. Under the data menu, select Connect to Web. Then go to the desired website. Here I have a sample table called the 10 most densely populated countries from Wikipedia. In the dialog box, copy and paste the URL or select from a recent URLs list. Select the desired table from the list of available tables and the data is imported. Next, I will demonstrate how to use the CSV data connector. In this example, a CSV data connector was set up to import Sunspot data from a web page. If I click on the upper left hand corner of the workbook, I will see details about the data connector including the source, the date created, and the last import date. In addition, an FFT gadget was placed on the source data to examine frequency components. Now let's save the project and reopen the saved project. You will see the source data and graph are empty. Simply re-import data by clicking on the icon in the empty graph. The data connector icon in the worksheet has a context menu with options for auto import and whether to clear data when saving, etc. So you can easily customize this feature as needed. Finally, let's work with a local CSV data file. I will go to the data menu and under Connect to File, I will select CSV. Then browse to find the desired file. Once you select a file, a dialog box called CSV Import Options will open where you can select certain features like main header lines, data has column names, data has units, etc. Select OK and the data will be imported to the workbook. Create your graph and analyze data. For example, I will click on the Analysis menu and under Fitting, select NL Fit. You can then change the data source to another file and the graph and analysis results will update automatically for the new data. We hope this video helps you get started using the various data connectors and makes your analysis work more efficient. Thank you for watching.